In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a graph via the legacy dialogs. Okay, so to begin, click graph at the menu bar and go for legacy dialogs. Okay, so you can now see the option available for the type of graph that you want to create. Okay, so let's start with the bar. Okay, so now you can choose uh, the available option for the bar chart. Okay, so I'm going to choose simple. Okay, and make sure to select summarize for group of cases and then click define. Okay, you can select the variable in the variable list here and move it to category as is. Okay, so I'm going to do for a bouncer and move to the category as is. Okay, so by default, okay, the bar is being represented by the number of cases. Okay, so you can change, okay, to cumulative uh, number or the percentage of cases or community percentage. Okay, so I'm going to choose a uh, percentage of cases. Okay, and then just click OK. Okay, so in your output now, you get a nice bar chart, okay, with the percentage of cases. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a pie chart using the legacy dialogs. Okay, so same as before, click graph, legacy dialogs, and choose pie. Okay, so make sure the summarize of, uh, for group of cases uh, is selected, and then click on define. Okay, so now you can choose the variable which you want to see in pie chart. Okay, so in my case, I want to choose buzzer. Okay, and move to define slices by. Okay, so you can also choose uh, the slices represent. Okay, number of cases, uh, sum of variable or percentage of cases. Okay, so I'm going to choose a percentage of cases and just click on OK. Okay, so now you should get a nice pie chart in your output viewer.